Warning. The vid you're about to fucking watch was performed by journeyman hillbillies and stupid fucking rednecks that got nothing to lose. It's highly recommended that you don't try this. And if you do try this, you're on your fucking own. And send me a vid ya. Viewer discretion is fucking advised. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. You can read minds. I just don't have enough sh old birds. Well, I don't really know if the fucking wife would agree, but uh, you don't need to worry about getting a divorce. I'm going through the big B and don't mean Dallas. What is she going to want? Half of all this? Well, if it, that is the case, but I need to collect some more because, uh, you know, what is too many shitty old birds? I'm going through the big B and don't mean Dallas. And what better way to welcome another shit box old bird than to put bias flies on it? I only got two that are going to hold wind, but, uh, I mean, that's fine. Fucking mint. So here's what we got for selection. Oh, and by the way, it's about this cold outside. It's not very flattering right now. <laughs> but uh, so we got some brand used tires here. Look at the fucking shred on that. Uh, they only require just to add wind. This one's completely cooked off, but it's got wind in it. And this bias ply is just fucking sassy, so she's coming. The other one over there was uh, well, I didn't really have a valve stem. So just the other night, the old lady was saying that, well, I'm not very good with my dick. Well, let's fucking prove her wrong. Oh, and just so you guys know, my backhoe's named dick for all you people that ain't been around for very, well, very long. All right, well, let's see if we can close the tailgate on that shitty furred without stoving the whole fucking thing in. And uh, there's a bunch of tires in the bucket. This seems like a really good idea. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, there she goes. Oh. 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 She gone. Well, it looks like the wife was right again. Every time my little dick comes near a rear end, things get messed up. Oh, wipe the tail light right off that side. Ooh. Can of Cosby sauce. It's my barbecue sauce. Uh. Yeah, man. Time to wake up. Oh, she loved it. Oh yeah. Let's turn the old windmaker on. I don't know how old that piece of shit is, but it has not given up yet. Just it gets cold started all the time. Fucking the old wall gas fucking plug things just still runs mint though. They make good shit. Well, I don't know if I'm getting old or my eyesight's as bad as my peccary is short, but. These ones don't have valve stems on them either. Like, how the fuck did that even happen? Winner, get him. So it looks like we gotta go foraging through the pile for some more tires. Over back here, looking for tires. That tire pile's all struck out. That tire pile's all struck out. That's a lot of dim. Those are big, really big rigging tires. But this one, this one's got a freshly picked dump one and it has wind in it. Well, I was driving across the yard and seeing the wife shit right there. I'm gonna smash it with my dick. Oh, yeah. Whip out everything you got and do it in the butt. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I wanted maximum penetration. Well, now at least the old lady can't say that I haven't smashed her shirt. Man. So, uh, just so anybody, anybody that watches this LubeTube channel that's uh, fixing to go find some old pile of shit to drag home, well, if you want to do what I do, which is probably a bad idea, but uh, my buddy Matt, a few years ago, he says, uh, you got to live by the seven Ps. And I said, what the f*** is the seven Ps? And he says, proper previous planning prevents piss poor performance. So you're going to want to grab all the stupid sh** before you leave the f***ing homestead. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, need something and not f***ing have it. Remember what Bert Gummer said? Man, Bert, you put a whole new shine on the word overkill. When you need it and don't have it, you sing a different tune. Oh, look at this loyal old furred. 
Oh, let's wake this old fucking 12 valve up. Time to go to work, motherfucker. Oh, great job, you stupid fuck. You left the two-way on all night. Idiot. Oh, fucking loyal. Oh, oil pressure. Oh, fucking mint. Ding dong. Fast idle stick engaged. Oh no. Oh no. Where is that stupid little fucking Oh, there she is. Alrighty, well, we're gonna grab some canned wind. What for uh, blowing the old fuel rail out? Get all that old schmoo gas out of there. Oh. I think my truck just shut off. No, I think we got a case of a disengaged fast idle stick. Yep. America. 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 Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. Fast idle stick, re-engaged. How many Milwaukee tools? All of it. I go and f***ing find my uh, ketchup applicator. It's full of Canadian water, for f sakes. <laughs> well, it looks like I was wrong. It's full of uh, a shotgun shell. I love my son. He's always f***ing with s***. Alrighty. So there's one thing you always gotta make sure you bring, and that's batteries that have been laying around frozen for a while. Those are the best ones. All right. Well, now that you've gone through the seven Ps and you got all your stupid shit, now what you're going to want to do is come, ter come to terms with the fact that you definitely forgot something. But that's fine because uh, it's just the fucking way she goes. Way of the road, buddy. Way of the road. You're going to want to at least have two shit batteries, a bunch of can Cosby, ketchup app applicator, one of them springy ropes, just just all the stupid shit. Just basically take half your shop, throw it in the back of your old Ferd, and then you're good to go. So the story on the old Ferd that we're going to get is a two for one kind of deal. Two, I'm fucking stupid, and one, I'm a fucking idiot. But uh, no, she was a two for one deal. I bought this truck and uh, that truck for a total of uh, a gentleman never asked and a lady never tells how much he paid for a truck. Well, good thing I'm neither of them. I paid 1,300 moose bucks for uh, both them trucks together. This one was 11 hundy, and the other one was 2 hundy. So, uh, 2 hundy buck truck. She'll fucking go. You don't need to worry about it being frozen in a fucking snowbank. Fucking Canadian water. Fuck. Just the best wife ever. Sends me out of the house with a fucking hot breakfast burrito. I don't think she knows I'm going to get another truck. You don't need to worry about that divorce thing we talked about earlier. See, people are always talking about all this distracted driving bullshit, but I remember when I was a kid, right? I had this buddy, he was uh, quite a bit older than me. His name was Terry Piggott. Oh, would you shut the f up? Ugh. Anyhow, this fella named Terry Piggott. And uh, believe it or not, he was, uh, I was boot eight years old when he was about 40 and that guy used to drink a pilly beer roll a f***ing cigarette and drive his old 80s fur down the road and he never crashed well the thing about distracted driving is as long as you're a professional at it you don't need to worry about it do i ever love my mail order woman that's one f***ing good breakfast burrito hey you know our breakfast not my wife i buy her she belonged to me as a property. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite sawed up f***ing Frenchman's house. I'm French! Why do you think I have this outrageous accent? Man. Who wants to f*** up sawed up, sawed off Frenchman's lawn? I do. I find fun. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Alright, well we just pulled up the sawed off Frenchman. Just majestic ranch of stupid f***ing minty sh and, uh, well, we need another support vehicle. And, uh, we'll saw it off Frenchman here. He said the one thing about these 6.2 diesels, according to the Haynes manual, is that you're not supposed to press the gas before you start them in the cold. And you're also not supposed to start them in the cold without being plugged in. He's jumping off the top ropes. <laughs> oh, yeah, the f***ing manual glow plugs. This is where the exhaust come out at factory, right? struggling. There's smoke. Oh, 
Oh, I smell starter wire. <laughs> Oh no! It might be too cold. It might be too cold. Glow plugs or the wiring. The brisk smell of uh, whatever wiring is getting cooked is just majestic. Where's that good stuff? Oh yeah. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah. She'll start. Oh, I'll give her a nice application of the good stuff. You crack it, and I won't give a. Oh, she's gonna go. Well, lucky I can't read. Give her. What a fucking piece of shit. See, this is the equivalent to what Slave's Lake Motor is. Now you can see once again why I'm a fucking furred fan. Jump. So you guys have all seen the video on this, and if you haven't yet, then go fuck yourself. But uh, seeing this in person is way fucking cooler. Fuck is this badass? There's no snow getting down her throat hole, eh? It's good for it. Love oh, that. Oh yeah, getting the carbon off the valve. A bug catcher, it's a snow catcher. <laughs> it likes eating that stuff. So sawed off. These tires are safe for the road, eh? That yeah. weather checking? You don't worry about that weather checking. This is just fucking. Uh, you know, everybody's smoking crack nowadays. You might as well have a tire that's on it, too. I smoke rock. Experience. Oh, yeah. So she wouldn't fucking start. What do you think, Sawed Off? I'll tell you what I think. Oh, no! How dare you! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! You're gonna need some Saskatchewan rolled chrome to get that back together. Yeah. Sawed Off's gonna Two plug her in. Plugs and I don't know which one's which. Well, the one that doesn't let out smoke. But look at how safe this extension cord is. You don't need to worry about getting electrocuted. What happened to your lawn, bud? Someone's been tearing up my driveway. Oh, how dare they? Oh, they just arrived in this beautiful piece of Alberta soil, or Oilberta. We are in fucking oil county, or country, or the fuck they say. And look at this fucking pile of sweetheart. Fucking mint. Now, you know, usually people wouldn't buy a piece of shit like this, but I am a piece of shit. You're in big trouble though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. So, I love pieces of shit like this. Look at the fucking cab. She's not even rusty. Oh, fucking vinyl seat. It's got an auto Bruce Jenner in her. Keys are in it. This is in better shape than my bubble. Oh, well, I think sacked right out. Oh, it's got overdrive buttons and stuff. This man, this thing was base fucking model, not even K set. Custom. Oh yeah. Fucking man. Oh, four wheeling was Ford. What does custom mean? Nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, just custom. That's it. Four wheeling was Ford. Do you see the difference between four wheeling was Ford is uh, four wheeling with a Dodge guy is that you don't have to get your butt gaped out when you're a Ford guy. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Oh, I'm trying to here. She's. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Oh, let's have a gander here. Oh, she's a fucking Windsor. She's got the uh, AC Look at that. pulley blade. Right on the line. Oh, it's fucking mint. Why'd you check the oil? Oh, hold on. Uh, Alaska off. Uh, what the fuck's the name of that kid? Alaska off road said if the oil drips off the stick, it's safe to start. It's definitely not dripping. <laughs> oh, she's a little sticky. Shout out to that little fucking kid. It uh, it sure is nice to see a little. Get right like that, getting into trucks and cars instead of f***ing dope and video games. Let's check the coolant. Mm. Oh. Well, it looks like a radiator anyway. A nice clean one. It's got coolant delete. You don't have to worry about coolant. So should we just f***ing stick a battery in it and see if she starts? Why not? He said she hasn't been running three years. Just add battery. We got fixing to do. Oh. Everything fell apart. All of it. <laughs> oh. That's still good though. Oh yeah, it just needs to Oh clear. yeah, that's not even that rotten off. This thing must have got a jump from a Dodge at one time or another. It's got second-hand electrical problems. Ooh. You see the difference here between a German and a Frenchman? A German will use a fucking ratchet. A Frenchman's fucking stupid. You got that right. Dubbernack. All right, grab that half-inch drive hammer and just give that a few whacks. All right, that should be good. Oh, you fucked it. Does it. All right, now just gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, it's 
All right, that's on there very poorly. Now let's see if she cranks. Oh, I don't think that's on there good enough. Or that battery's a piece of shit. That bat. Oh, just just give it a little twist right there in my spit. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, oh. what the f is that? What did you say about my battery, you French fried? F you knew you were coming out here, and you bring the sh dead batteries you can find. Yeah, but it's still good. Oh. Listen, it's still good. Hold on here. Let me get rid of the fucking. That's the sound of it being good. All right, now we're gonna see if the old cart cranks. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Can you, just, can you turn that key all the way forward? Oh, look at my piss. How fuck is the key? All right, saw it off. Now listen, when it starts. Red line. That's how it works. Yep. You don't want the top end going out of oil. Oh no! All right. Oh yeah. Oh, that brand used gas in there just smelling delightful. Hold on. It sounds good. Ford's loyal. So sitting in the woods versus Yeah. So loyal. A six two diesel being boosted. Won't start. A daily driver and this piece of wood just fired right up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you get when you got a Ford, right? I'm gonna have to give her a little bit of good foot. Oh, it's got oil pressure and everything. Oh, for all you fuckers that want to jerk off to me, you're pumping the pedal. Here, now I'm gonna drive her out. Not moving. Burnout. Burnout. Are we doing burnout? Oh, yeah. Pop out. Oh, it's doing it on the other side. Hold on. Grab second. I will. Go oh, on. I smell wood. Reverse action sounds good. Oh, yeah. You don't need tires to do burnout. All right. Just try to drive and see if it spools through the gears. Good too, eh? Give her, give her a little catch up. Oh, f yeah. Oh, a little backfire? F I love sh old Fords. Loyal. You're loyal. Oh, my Dodge is better. Mopar, no car. It's like 1905 gas in there. That's a nice battery connection, too. Hey, it does have cooling. It's all pouring out of the rad right now. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's, we needed that f***ing clamp for the f***ing battery. You don't need to worry about building pressure. Are the hubs locked in? Lock the hubs. There, this one's locked up. This one's locked too, side off. Oh, yeah. Oh, f*** yeah, bud. She's a f***ing runner. She, she's going, yeah. Look at this old piece of shit loyal.
And uh, hats off to this guy's son who took the wheels off of it because he left all the lug nuts on there. That kid's fucking mint. All right, let's get her out of here. Shut her off and then turn the key back or start it again. Oh, is this thing loyal? And what is it, minus my ass outside? Didn't even give a f anything. They're tough. Just loyal. What do, you, what do you mean that's not a good jack? Oh, jack holes are safe as f We'll just put a little oil on this fucker and be minty as f All right, so since we're Ford guys and not Dodge guys, we're going to use the lube on the jack hole. And just a little bit though. There we go. All right, so sawed off, definitely sketchy jacketed right now. Oh, that's the worst place ever, but <laughs> we're just going to have to learn this one the hard way. Just start getting off and see what happens. Oh yeah, this looks safe. This is safe. How much safety? All, All of it. it. <laughs> oh, she's still cheeching out the back from that sassy burnout. I wonder if it, oh, it's probably lit on fire because of the fucking dry grass under it. Oh yeah, it's barely, oh, it's definitely on fire. Everything's on fire back here. <laughs> It, you don't have to worry about it being on fire. See, Dodge guys, the, the fire's coming from the burnout, not the electrical. Just keep it and we'll see what happens. It looks like it's getting further. <laughs> looks like, oh, it's got the, the fucking jumper cables pinched in there. Just keep going, it'll be fine. This is gonna be so much fun for putting the wheel on too. You'll barely feel like you're about to die. F-350 would only weigh about 500 pounds, so we're good. No, it's on there, it's good enough. I fucking got this. You don't understand how safe I am. All right, so what happened is it might have fallen off the bolt or off the leaf spring, but now it's safely, safely, safely. On the shackle bolt. Wedged onto that bolt there, so that's how you know it's still good. And the headlights holding it up. That, that rim looks good on there. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me just jack it a little more. All right, saw it off. Need a little bit of oil on there. Well, yeah, you're trying to save the lug nuts. You don't look, want to hurt the threads. Look at how gotta, sure safe that. that is. All right. Oh, yeah, I got enough oil on there. Man, I want to get the rest of these rims and tires out of the backyard and get them ready to rock. They all got tubes in them so they don't go yeah, flat. Invincible. But I got drunk and I keep ripping the fucking valve stems off. All right, get rid of the jackal. All right, I got her started. That that bolt on the other side was safe, and this one will be safe too. Uh, oh yeah, you hear that click? That's safety. Safety, always off. Man, you couldn't drive a nail into my ass right now with a. 10 pound hammer <laughs> hey saw it off yeah keep doing what you're doing but go faster and try to be less of a i'm french we don't do that <laughs> why is it whenever you and i are something up it's the most sketchiest pile of does shit. it work like the concrete it truck work. oh it works flawlessly exactly. it'll always work but except for if it flies off i'm eating it yeah but you'll barely even die yeah but you know Nobody misses French people when they die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's looking pretty badass. We gotta stick some more of those tires on there. Buddy said the here is just, but she seems pretty mint. Like it'll do a burnout on wood with the drums there. So, and it lights fires and stuff. But saw it off, go in there and start her up. And then uh, I need to rip to the store for chips, pop, and a bear. So, is it gonna start though? Like, oh, how do we know it's gonna start? Cause it's a furred. What kind of what kind of French fried it drives around with the fucking door open and his boot out? What a fucking idiot! All right, close up the ranch there. Just first click it. Yeah. Oh, wait. you don't need to worry about all that snow. I got this. So Sawdoff and I both come to the conclusion that standing in the bush and putting the back tires on sounds like a real time. So we're not going to worry about it. Sweetheart, even idols down, man. Fucking French people. All right, he's ready to go. We have a little reverse action here. Oh, yeah. Man. 
you don't need to worry about the back end dragging. Oh, Andy cat for days. I wonder where the the coolant's coming from. All right. Well, we know where all the coolant's coming from. Some idiot forgot to put the rad cap on. I don't know why I saw it off fishing. Seems plenty safe to me. This thing's mint. What is it mint? Spare tire. Minty as. The lug nuts. Oh, there's eight of them there. They're clearly the wrong lug nuts. Oh yeah, they're not. I, I could have told you that, but just self tapper it. It'll be fine. Sawed offs on to me. What were you saying? I said that zip ties, he's just an actor. He's got guys to do all the work for him. Yeah, I'm a hipster, Billy. Well, I'll let you decide. Are you the strong back or the strong mind? Because it sure looks like you're doing all the work. So I'm putting some, doing some fire suppression here. And I had a gander at sawed off Frenchman's piss. I reckon we should stop at the hospital on the way home. Man. What the f Are you alright? You're pissed. Your kidneys your kidneys are fing shot, bud. That is it's fing orange. Oh the fing reverse lights even work. Fing new exhaust on there. Fing loyal. Alright. All the way to the bumper. Look at the back of your truck there. Yeah, I shouldn't hit my truck. Won't you? No, we're we're gold. Now, now just give her, see if it'll do a little burnout. Right. Yeah! Oh, give her! Oh, it's burning the other one now! Oh, no! Almost fell off! We need some ketchup! Sweet, brand new exhaust on her. Man, hey, sawed off. Uh, I was grabbing the tires, right? Yeah. And then I uh, gave you the tires, right? Yeah. And then I ran the jack, right? And then you were running the impact. Yeah, but I did it the French way. Oh, okay. Well, that was a uh, great success. And uh, yeah, things went a little fucking easier than I thought they were gonna. So uh, yeah, we got to uh, go for some dinner. All right, well, since the Rona shuts down all the fucking restaurants, and, well, I never went to them anyway, we're going to show you how to cook without having to go to one of those shitbox restaurants. So all you're going to need is some tin foil, so whatever the fuck you want to eat, and a sassy old Cummins. All right, so we got some fucking cook saucy there. You're going to want to sanitize your knife. Oh, mint. Then we're just going to want to fucking take the old skin off and bucker off all mint. It's just fucking beautiful out here. It's just gorgeous. All right, so you got that all bucked up nice and deep like. And uh, now we're gonna put some fucking seasoning on there. Bam! Oh, that's gonna be fucking good sawed off. Season the living fuck out of it. My wife's gonna be pissed that I use all her seasoning. But uh, now we're good to go. Alrighty, we'll take some of your new Ford Fender on a roll and just fucking make a nice fucking sassy pillow like that. And uh, you don't wanna take your fucking don't arc us out on the battery. Last year at Christmas, I was heading out to see the old man in BC, and uh, well, I arced a goddamn dinner out on the battery, and don't worry, I still ate it. All right, so she's in there. She's got good contact on all the fucking manifold, and uh, now we just gotta add driving. We gotta build some heat here. Get that food a cooking. All right, so uh, caught off. Just gotta go grab the keys for the Chevy here. And he thinks he's gonna start right back up. Oh, that cord is fucking mint. It's not even that fucked up. It smells like either in here. It'll fire. <laughs> this thing's a piece of shit. Did you plug in the wrong cord? Maybe. Man, this thing sucks. <laughs> Just a pile of Chevy. Do you want to try the 7.3? How? Can see how mint it fires up? You want the blue one? No, your fing white one, the one with the blower on it. It'll start. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, fing Chevy. These things are junk. Oh, look at that majestic fing ether injection port. All right, well, we got the old 7.3 IDI, and you'll see why they're way better than Chevy's. Fing Chevs are junk. 
at look at that custom fabric fucking calculating. How many of low plug tries should we give it? I don't know. It's just gonna get a big gulp of snow right off the hop. It likes that. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, the blower's thrown up. Huh? Try it again. Just try cranking it. Oh, the fucking blower's thrown up. Huh? Just, just try, give it, crank it one more time. Oh, you're good now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the blower was frozen. It took, it, yeah, it took you a few cranks to get her to start turning. Does it help to give these throttles? Oh, all the way to the floor, yeah. With new batteries. <laughs> or, what do you What do you mean this is a battery? This giant burnt <laughs> fucking drill hole there. That's good. No, I drilled the holes deliberately, but it's that one's melted. This oh, is it's uh, you know it's good. All right, cycling glow plugs again. It's so fucking cold out here. My god, fingers are all frozen. My fingers hurt. What's that? My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh. now your back's going to hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. There's a little bit of steam coming up the glow plug controller, so that's how you know it's good. It'll go right to the mat, too. There you go. Chevy again. All I can smell is ether. <laughs> All right, tightened up battery connection. Crank it better. It'll go. The fucking. The battery can, uh, cable is twerking because of the current going through it. Just try it. Yeah, the fucking it twerks the battery cable. Oh, holy sh barely drawing any current at all. All right, new battery connection and some fucking Cosby. Ready when you are. Oh man, what a smoky mess! Yeah, give her right to the floor. Oh yeah. Man. Transmission was up or something. Oh, was the transmission drunk, Ricky? Cause you were. Rocket babe. Rocket. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sawed off really cared about it long. <laughs> So we fucking got the old grub on there after doing a couple more cold turd at Sod Off's house. So we're gonna go to Princess Auto parking lot here and uh, well, we're gonna dig in. It's gonna be good. We gave her some serious fucking pyro. I think this is gonna be a tasty fucking treat. 
just here at the best store in the world. And uh, what better place to have dinner? Oh, there she is. Will my truck start? <laughs> oh, it'll, it'll, that is a magical question. <laughs> All right, let's see how this can worked out. Cooking with Peg. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, it smells good. Hold on. Look at that. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm -hmm. What a fucking treat. Oh yeah, that's a uh... oh, hop. Man. All right, so she's a fucking few days later now because the uh, procrastination set in big time. And I don't know if this fucking screen looks any different to you fucking mouth breeders and but this is a fucking name brand GoPro. Spent some of that fucking, uh, that Patreon cash since fucking YouTube's a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. And, uh, yeah, fucking moving on up. So the old... still made in China. Oh, guaranteed tea is still made in China. They're kung fu and all that silly chang chang chong talk. I can't understand you. Go back to your country, white pot. All right, so uh, old Red's a minute. We're just gonna add a battery cable and an actual bat. Oh, the floor is just mint. Squirrel. So uh, yeah, we just gotta add a battery, battery cable, and just can dial her off the old trailer. Oh yeah, just looking through the organized pile of shit here, and uh, I think that'll work just mint. Just add a little grinder, and she's mint and by the way why did everything have to be fucking butt like, i remember when grinder was a grinder not a gay porn app for fucking cornhole i'm like what the fuck? oh the fucking thing's not plugged in all right well uh just a little tip here for you and that's all i can afford to give is uh you take this fucking uh bolt 500 flangey fucking deal you flop her on her fucking roof and she really bites into the fucking copper so that's how you know she's good all right so I just got this from the old shack there and you can see right here the dripping that's definitely not water <laughs> i wonder how long this boiled for in my battery box before it started shitting out all of its acid that means it's charged that means it's good you don't need to worry about battery acid all right well sawed off I need to hammer this connection down and well persuasion sticks are a long way away. what are you doing there oh yeah that'll work oh yeah, that, oh, mate. Come on, you fucking whore. That old gas is just mint. Since we got a battery, we don't have to worry about stalling, but we ain't shutting it off. Oh, look at the school desk. Man. Oh, saw it off. Fit in there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to learn? I definitely can't jerk off. Oh, there's a 
a nice table there. Pants. Oh yeah. Fucking TVs. Good books. Pokemon on tape. Oh look at this book right here. You should read it. How not to be a. The dump provides. Mint. All right, we gotta try the wipers. Uh oh. They're struggling. Give them a whack. No, I think they're frozen in a snowbank. Look at this luxurious mullet. Mint. Or do you got business in the front and party in the back, hill, Billy? Yeah. How tight is that wheel? Oh yeah, it's still mint. Due for a retort. She's a real strong woman. First kid come out sideways. She didn't scream or nothing. <laughs> she don't mind. She's short and skinny, but she's strong. All right, fuckers and piss flops. That was a good fucking bid you to make there. I had just a fucking blast with old sawed off Frenchman. But yeah. We're just in the middle of editing this one, or this vid you're watching right now, as I record this mother Um, I had a big problem. This piece of shit crashed on me, and I had to go ahead and uh, resurrection the files off of it. It was a giant pile of shit, but I got her to go. Uh, this vid was going to be uploaded sooner, but since the Patreons are so fucking god mint, I went out and got a brand new fucking cunt fuser. I don't know how to use it yet, and it, I guess it needs whiffy, so I got to go in the god house don't try and church it up son or in the echo shack but yeah i got a new laptop and i guess it's got all the fucking confuser things a guy could ever need but i'm still kind of fucking uncomfortable with taking god money from all you minty patreons i guess i gotta get used to it because uh you loyal cunts aren't going anywhere so well supplies last i don't know how many of these motherfuckers are in there but uh we had a pile of these flags made up before the god rona and uh teespring or none of them other motherfuckers sell those so uh these are the only ones we got left uh we don't know how we're gonna get any more we got a pile of these and i figure to all my fucking patreons that uh that have given me 20 beans or better well i'm gonna send you one of these fuckers for, for free i guess we'll pay all the shipping and this that and the other and and fucking send these pricks off to you till there's fucking none left but uh before i let all you fuckers go just uh got some fan mail look at that dump cat all right what the fuck do we got here minty mother oh this is the old peel box I'll, I'll show you guys the new one all right we're moved out to g-dale full-time yeah well, obviously peel box 85 grovedale oil alberta toh 1x0 uh that's a half-ass zip code so we got the postal codes in uh Kanadistan, not zip codes so there you go that's a fucking new postal code it'll be updated in the uh in description right above the talker but let's dig in just some pc light oh can't open presents without pc light oh you can almost taste the freshly squeezed piss all right twin state fucking garage little by little that's the name of his truck and uh old truck lives matter oh that's racist that's mint buddy thank you very much if you don't know who twin sticks garage is i recommend you stop being such a and go check the mother out just a treat what else we got here oh i already opened this one up because i thought it was a bomb it was ticking but uh this is a minty motherfucker from australia i reckon uh what's his name service hallmax wingman but yeah this minty prick sent me a toque uh, oh did he send me a note stickers oh what did he send me here i gotta open this ah uh, peg how you doing you freaking mad Love your sw- What the f*** are you trying to write here? Well, I'm gonna read this. Man, I can't f***ing read. You know that sh Well, here's the f***ing tarp he sent me. Jesus f***ing Christ. Supplying the golf with lubricant and sarcasm for over 50 f***ing years. Well, top servo. Thank you very f***ing much, bud. F***ing mint. No, oh, dump cat likes it. But if you do want to buy my f***ing- Buy me a shirt. My gut don't hang over my belt that f***ing bad, but, uh, Maybe the old lady can wear this around the house as a fucking tarp. She's a skinny rail too. So skinny and white you can crush her up and snort her. Thanks for the toques though, bud. Why the fuck would you guys have toques in Australia? Let's get the fuck, bud. And we got one more letter. It's probably got anthrax in it. Well, this guy sent me a big fucking letter. His name's Old Town F150. And uh says a bunch of shit about stay minty. No fucking problem. Then he also sent me some I love oil and gas stickers. Well, I do love oil and gas, bud. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the channel. Keep out your ass. And keep your pecker from freezing off in the goddamn snowbank.